This video describes the process of logging on to an air traffic service center using FAN's CPDLC on a Pilatus aircraft. Data link information can be accessed in the data link window on the forward displays. For aircraft equipped with a touchscreen controller, data link pages can also be accessed directly on the touchscreen controller. Before beginning CPDLC operations, pilots must log on to an air traffic service center. This can be compared to tuning to an ATC frequency and checking in with the controller when using voice communications. Instead of a radio frequency, air traffic service centers that use CPDLC are assigned a four-letter logon identifier. The logon ID can be found on an en route chart. The chart also tells pilots what data link services are offered by the ATSC. When the aircraft is outside CPDLC airspace, pilots should initiate the logon 15 minutes prior to entering the airspace. If taking off close to or into CPDLC airspace, initiate the logon on the ground prior to departure. To log on to an ATC center, access the data link window. Select FANS 1A Plus from the data link network menu. On the ATC index page, select Log on Status. This page is used to log on to an ATC center. It also displays any current connections as well as the next center. Verify that ADS is armed. ADS must be armed for ADS position reporting. Unless declaring an emergency, ADS emergency must be off. Go to page 2 and verify that ATC COM is armed. Go back to page 1 and verify that data link is ready. This indicates that VHF or SATCOM communication has been established. Verify that the flight ID and tail number match your filed flight plan exactly. If any of the fields don't match the filed flight plan, the logon will not be successful. In the Logon 2 field, enter the logon ID for the air traffic center you'll be entering. Once a logon ID is entered, the ready prompt changes to send. Push send to initiate the logon request. Once the logon is accepted, you are logged on to the CPDLC network. However, a CPDLC connection is not established until the center identifier is shown in the active center field. Depending on your location, the logon request may remain in this state for several minutes. This will be the case if you initiated the logon on the ground. CPDLC connection will not be established until airborne and upon entering CPDLC airspace. Once the CPDLC connection is established, the pop-up message ATC COM established is shown. You may also get an uplink message confirming the CPDLC connection. You are now logged on to an ATC center and can send or receive CPDLC messages. If the next center in the flight plan route is CPDLC capable, the center identifier will be shown in the next center field. Under normal circumstances, when entering a new center airspace, the controlling center will automatically transfer the aircraft to the next center and the flight crew should not need to initiate another logon. When entering a new airspace, check the local requirements regarding HF or VHF voice check-in procedures, position reports, and the use of ADSC. This video described the process of logging on to an air traffic service center using FANS CPDLC. In the next video, we'll demonstrate how to send and receive CPDLC messages.